Hello, flat earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. This is another observation of a sunset that once again shows that we are not living on a spinning ball earth and the sun does not light up the bottoms of clouds as it sets, which it should do if we were living on a globe. We can see here as I pan the camera to the left that these clouds do not have their undersides lit by a sun which appears to be lower than them in the distance. The same goes for the clouds on the right here and the clouds further away in the distance. The sun only appears to be lower than the clouds because of perspective and because the sun is simply getting further and further away across a flat surface on a motionless plane. It's not because we're on a spinning ball. If the sun were physically lower because we were on a rotating spherical earth, as we are told to believe, then the sun would be lighting up the bottoms of those clouds. What is in fact happening is the dense, thick parts of the clouds remain grey and they don't allow the sunlight through. While the less dense, wispy clouds that are usually white as the sun shines through them are now tinged with this orange colour as the sun sets. We can use our eyes and see that the sun is in fact physically higher than the clouds, even though it only appears to be lower. Again, it's due to perspective. The sun is doing exactly what everything else does that's in the sky as it travels away from us. It appears to sink towards the horizon while remaining high in the sky. So I'll just let you enjoy the sunset. It's rather spectacular. Some people get in the way a few times, but we do see it set. And then we zoom back out again and you'll see once more that while the sun is supposed to be below some physical curvature on a globe Earth that, it is, that is rotating away from it, observations tell us this simply is not true. It may be difficult to get your head around why the sun disappears and appears to sink below the horizon. It's simply due to the fact that a flat surface rises up to our eye level if we're looking straight ahead, straight across. And in the distance Everything on the horizon just cuts it off. It doesn't mean the, the sun is physically sinking. In fact, we can see that as the sun appears to meet the horizon here, we, it kind of changes shape. There's this, the, the sun appears to kind of grab the surface. It's just an optical phenomenon.
the sun may not even be a ball of fire, as we are led to believe. It may only be circular because of the way we see through our spherical eyes. So seeing the sun set like this and assuming it's because the Earth is a rotating sphere is, is just an interpretation based on an insistence that we agree to a particular heliocentric model. This doesn't mean that the Earth is moving. Even though we could rise up in the air and see the sun set again, we would notice that we don't look down to see the sun again. The sun would appear in the center of our field of view again if we were looking straight ahead. So once again, I'm looking up at the clouds here. You can see that it's the tops of the, the, the clouds that are lit. The undersides of the clouds are not lit because they, they are thicker. The sun is not passing through them. So the sun is, in fact, still high in the sky. It's just further away. That's all it is. It's perspective. If we were on a globe, we would see the sun shining up to hit the bottoms of those clouds. Instead, we see just the less dense parts of the clouds still allowing the sunlight to go through them. And this is about as scientific as anyone can get when it comes to sunsets. We can't reach the sun. We, we don't know what it is. All we can do is make observations and comparisons. That's science. By making an observation and, and, and recording what we see without a bias. Yes, there's a claim that we're on a flat earth because it looks flat, because that's physics. When we look across a flat surface, this is what we see. And we see that the sun doesn't do what it's supposed to do according to the heliocentric globe earth model. And it it's not necessary to, to have an alternative explanation without any actual proof of what's happening. Our observation is enough to say what isn't happening and why it isn't happening, why the, the undersides of the clouds are, are not being lit up. But to claim to know what the sun is, how it works, why it's there, why we are here to see the sun sets, that's not science because it's not known. And it can't be really physically tested any more than this, than to make an observation. And to keep in mind that it's only observations from this Earth up into the sky that have been used to de determine this globe Earth model, or, or we've been told to interpret sunsets as being because we're on a spinning globe, simply because 
we've been told that we live in a solar system without any other scientific proof or evidence to back that claim other than the use of geometry to create mathematical models. Thank you very much.